Hi guys and welcome to my bookshelf tour. I asked you guys on Twitter what you wanted to see and you said a bookshelf tour in honour of me reaching 5,000 subscribers. So here it is. This is going to be shelf number one on my bookshelf. And as you can see, I actually don't have very many books on shelf number one. A lot of them are childhood books. So I'll show you a little bit more in detail what the books I have are. The first one that you can see is called The Giver and it is by Lois Lowry. This is the first one in a series, although I haven't carried on with the series yet. I really like the first one. It's super short, super quick read. I really enjoyed the film as well, so if you haven't seen that, maybe check that out. But I would hugely recommend this book. It's definitely one to watch out for. The next series that I have to recommend to you guys is the Leanne Hearn Tales of a Tory series. This is a Japanese-inspired, very oriental book series filled with great characters, really fun action sequences, and again, a series that I would hugely recommend trying out. This next series that I have to show you guys is the Noughts and Crosses series by Mallory Blackman, which is a YA series, fairly contemporary actually, that I read quite a long time ago and I adored it when I read it, so I've kept the books. I've actually given two of them to my friend Lauren to read at the moment, so that's why I don't have the whole series here, but I have read it all and I do own them all. This is a series of books that pretty much everyone should read because it's all to do with race and diversity and love and romance and it's just a truly wonderful book series. So if you haven't tried this, maybe worth giving a go if you want to try out some contemporary but you don't normally read it because I definitely wouldn't say that I read much contemporary but this series was fabulous. And the next series that I have to tell you about is one of my all-time childhood favourites, His Dark Materials. I have done a full review of this because I recently reread it, but I absolutely love it. And if you've not read it, then definitely go and check it out because it is just fabulous. There is magic, there is dust, there is sin, there is childhood, and it's all in one amazing book. The next series I have to show you really is one of my absolute child childhood book series and it's the Old Bear series. I used to love these when I was young. I believe I actually had a lot of these on audio cassette as well as having them in book format so I remember listening a lot to these stories multiple times before bed. Yet another box set. A box set of books that were so special to me as a child because they were Roald Dahl and Roald Dahl is a rhyming genius. He wrote all sorts of my favourites and I'm showing them all to you now and just out of all of these I think the only one I didn't love was Boy but all the others I had on tape I listened to them again and again and again and I've read them multiple times and they are just fantastic books for kids. Here I have the remainder of my Famous Five and Magic Faraway Tree books, which is basically all that I have left of my Enid Blyton collection. I used to have a really big collection of Enid Blyton books. I've read pretty much all of them and that's saying something because there are tons and tons of them, but um, I got rid of a lot of them very recently because they were taking up a lot of space and I didn't think I would reread them anytime soon, but I kept the first one in the Famous Five and the first one in the Magic Faraway Tree because I love that edition, it's the edition I read with my grandma when I was growing up and I just think that they're both fantastic series, in fact I'd pretty much recommend all Enid Blyton books for kids. Next up I have The Secret Garden which I really adored as a child, I've watched the film so many times and I've read the book a few times and it's just a beautiful emotional read. The next book I have to show you guys is Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. It's one of the few Dickens books that I've ever read, but I really enjoyed it. I studied it in school with an excellent teacher and that always helps. The final two books that I have to show you guys are the two Lewis Carroll books that I have, which is Through the Looking Glass and Alice in Wonderland. I am a big Alice in Wonderland fan. I've seen many of the film adaptations and read the book multiple times. I'm also a big nonsense poetry fan and Lewis Carroll is a big part of that because a lot of his creativity is shown through nonsense poetry in these books. They are batty, they're insane, but they're hilariously delightful and I would recommend them. And that concludes my bookshelf tour for shelf number one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. Bye! Thank you for watching my video today. Go pick up a book. Then come back and chat with me again.